and all is well. You did there. remember to plug in the, the microphone is plugged in. What about the charger? The power is. Yes, that is plugged in. Oh, that is I need to. so mad at us. Why would they be mad at us? We're not conserving energy. I I think Con Edison ultimately doesn't care. Ultimately, you might want to make the comments bigger while you're there. Bigger, still bigger. Am I not? Am I still? Very good. Very good. That's good, gentlemen. All. I'm David Anthony, the Foxy Bar. And I'm Schwing. There we go. <laughs> Wondering where that was coming in. And welcome to another episode of Cooking with Foxy. Good to see you all here today. We are going to be continuing our exploration of Shahrazad's feast, a collection of medieval Middle Eastern recipes. And today we're going to go with a recipe written down by a fellow named, and I apologize for this, Kans al-Fawalid fi Tanwiyah al-Mawalid. Let's hope that was right, more or less. It is a recipe for fried fish. We're going to go with fried fish today for a couple fried of reasons. Because uh, it's Friday. Because uh, it's Thursday. Today's Thursday. It's alright, it's alright. Anyway. Right. What was I gonna say? Right, so first I have a confession to make. Confess us. Thank you very much. And that confession is this past weekend, we had our first Ren Fair of the year. It was the the uh, 50 episodes indeed. But yes. today is not the celebration. The celebration is when we get to 52, because that means that we will have done this, been doing this for a year. That's but uh, weeks in a year. Yeah, I know. I learned that in school. Yo. Uh -huh. Right, so we had our first fair of the season this past uh, weekend, which was in Vermont, which was a six-hour drive. Yeah, just about. Just I mean, about. the GPS says that it's that it's four hours, but it never actually works out that way. Well, we did a lot of stopping on the way. We did. We did. We stopped at some interesting places. And uh, and the, the bottom line, of course, is that, that we are exhausted. So we're going to do something fairly, fairly simple. I'm going to move this over just so you can, can see my cutting technique, because why not? This recipe requires a medium-sized onion. So I'm slicing up said medium, medium, medium-sized up onion. So we're doing a, we're only doing one thing today, and it's going to be a sort of quick, simple thing. A quick, simple thing. Because we're a little bit tired from the weekend. Because we're tired from the still, weekend. Still. Uh, you know, it's Thursday. I know. <laughs> but also... Well, we also uh, went on an adventure with Shakespeare on, on Monday. Uh, it should also be noted, though, that we, that as some of you may know, it's very hot in New York. Right? Oh my god, it's hot! And we don't have air conditioning. Not yet. We don't. We so will have air conditioning in this room really, soon enough. really, really hot in here. But it is we really have hot. We the window open and it's raining, but it's still, it's still hot. It's still hot. really hot. It's, and it's about to be hotter. Because we're about to turn on the... We're about to turn on the stove. Turn on so the stove, we're I know. So this time because it's... As uh, short as possible. As short as possible because it's really hot So in the here. first thing we're going to do, just to get it out of the way, is I want you to reach in there and pull out the fish. Now the recipe calls for a red snapper or a grouper. That being said, we could not find any grouper, and the only red snapper they had was a whole, whole fish that needed to be gutted and everything, and, and I didn't we, feel like doing that. We, we don't really know how to properly do that. It's probably not the hardest thing. It's not the hardest thing. I've seen videos of it before. I saw my father do it a few like times. It. He just never showed me how to do it for some reason. But regardless, we, we decided to get one that was already cut up, so which unfortunately was not. Even if I knew how to do it, I'm lazy. So we got a cod loin. So we got cod. cod. Yes, indeed. Cod. We've made cod on We've this made cod before, before, but not like this. Not this way. Not we this have never way. made it quite this way before. Indeed. It is it is also Canada Day. Oh, we really right. Which is it's weird because Canada in three day. days it's, uh, it's, 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 it's Independence Day in America. It's Independence Day, you're right. Which, uh, I forgot about that. It's I kind of, about that. Side note. Uh, sorry, so today is what? The first? Then yes, yes, yes. today's because today's Thursday, yes, yes. right? So not two days and three days. I can count. I'm good at counting. I promise. All right. So we are going. Let's get started with that fish. We got the fish out. Right, you got it out. The fish is right here. All right. So this is what you're going to do. I want you to take that fish and put it into that glass pan that you see next to you. Okay. In a minute, we're going to need another platter to put it on. But for now, just put it in there. Well, I continue to finely chop because the thing says finely chop, mm -hmm. which is why I'm going at the onions a few more I'm times. We don't need Get it nice What? what? We do not need the paper. Toss it out. Toss that paper out. We don't want it. We don't need it. Get rid of it. Now, if you'll get on your knees for a moment, um, 
No, if you look oh, underneath that's there, that part of the time it is that part of the show. So the, there's some salt there. There's some salt, about a teaspoon's worth of salt. Teaspoon of salt. Apparently, it is a cold day gray in the UK. I'm sorry, a cold gray day. There we go. Those are the words I was looking for. Anyway, a cold gray kind of, day in the UK. Was kind of how it was all the time that is usually that, that, that from what I heard. Sprinkle it on the palm. Yes, I was, but sprinkle half of it and then flip it and then sprinkle the other half. Genius. Indeed. Indeed. Genius, I tell you. I, I am a genius. I'm certain of it. Sort of, kind of, mostly, give or take. Now, the recipe says that you should fry the fish first, and then fry the sauce, and then make the sauce. But I'm going to do it the other way around. I'm going to make the sauce first, and then I'm going to transfer the sauce into like a, a bowl or something, most of it, and then I'm going to leave the rest of the sauce on the pan and fry the fish in it. Does that sound good to you? Sure, I, I think that sounds good. Besides, the recipe You're says the chef, because besides, the recipe does say that after you salt, after you salt the the you fish, salt the fish so that nothing shall grow on it. Papa. Well, I hope nothing's growing on it. No. If anything's growing on it, we need to throw out that fish. <laughs> and I paid like twenty bucks for it, so I'd like to use it. Yeah, it's an expensive. Uh, expensive. Well, not that expensive. Actually, it wasn't that expensive. Fish. Cards not. Cards not that expensive. expensive. It's just, it's just. Well, there's three levels of fish. There's expensive yeah, fish. I think this is well solved. Hmm? Just put the rest oh, that's a whole. You can put them in more. That's all going to come in there. That's what the recipe yeah, says. Yeah, want, all, right, all right, you know, you know. Okay, all right. We won't. Use, we won't. We won't. We. I. I will trust you. You say that like, it's. it's a, they're they're all like thoroughly coated. So if I add more salt. Are they thoroughly coated? Yes. All right. So we're gonna leave I that even there. Rub the salt in. We're gonna leave that there because the recipe says I'll it put has to. Like a tiny bit more. All right. All right. All right. For you because you're making me doubt myself now. Very well. Very well. So again, the recipe says cook the fish first and then cook the sauce. But the recipe also says that once you salt the fish, you should let it sit for half hour. Uh, um, are we going to do that? No, no, we're going to let it sit for however long it takes the sauce to be made. Because I don't feel like waiting that long. I don't think it needs to sit an hour. I just think it needs to sit long enough for me to finally chop these onions. And I think these onions are pretty finely I mean, chopped. Typically, what do you the think? salt adds flavor, but also is going to remove some moisture. It is. Fair so enough. You know, fair enough. Factor, so, yeah. Gravy. What do you think of those? Onions. Are this those very, some? Are those some finely chopped those onions? Are some finely chopped those onions. are some One fine. Might even call them minced. 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 I like that term. Minced. That's a good term. Minced. 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 Very good. So we're gonna take these onions and we're gonna put those onions. Now that now that we're letting that sit, we're gonna let that sit. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Letting it sit. Mm -hmm. Very good. So. Well, make sure it was blah, 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 blah. Right, so we're going to take our sesame seed oil. The recipe calls for a cup and a half, but I've only got a cup, so that's all we're going to use. All right, yeah. going to take some of the sesame seed oil, not all of it, about half of it. So anywhere from a half a cup to uh, three quarters of a cup, if I'm doing the math right. Aren't they also using less fish than they are, though? Yes. Okay. So I'm sure this will work out. This will be fine. Work out fine. This will be fine. It's fine. Be, coat so yes, coat that pan. Coat that pan. Which, by the way, good gentle salt. This is a brand new cast iron pan. It is. It we is. just got it earlier today. We just today. got it today. We, we had no intention of doing we so were a bit today. because we were looking for a fruit hanger. We were. You know, like a basket. Like one of those baskets you hang. We you hang a basket. And we want to hang our fruits. We did not. It is so hot. Yeah. It is so hot. Even turned on. We haven't turned on the heat yet. I'm just going to stand in front of the fridge forlornly. Isn't there supposed to be something in here? No, I put it in the freezer. Well, I'll take it out in a moment. I promise. I want to get started on this first. I want to get this going. And then we'll get to that. I, I, I swear. I swear. So go ahead and turn the heat on. Turn the heat on when it comes to with that with that oil. And turn on the heat. And then we are going to put into there. Oh, yeah. The oinam, the oinam. We just we just took a a big, actually not a big, a medium sized. What is medium sized when it comes? I don't know. I don't know. It's whatever you say it's it really is. Really, whatever it's like, whatever you think. Whatever. A medium whatever size. you. It depends how big your mouth is. I think. Don't you? Well, yeah, you so there we go. We got our oinams in our pan. Here, do you do you have a flipper flopper? You do. I do have a flipper flopper. So go ahead and flip that around in there in the flopper. Just Coat them a bit in Indeed. the oil. Indeed. Coat them in the oil. Okay, what do we do? Oh. And we're going to brown those onions. 
while those onions are browning, we're going to put a couple more things in there while they're browning. Because we don't want them to brown all by themselves. We don't want them to be alone in there. So we're going to add a couple more things. What are we going to add? I'll tell you what we're going to add. We're going to add some black pepper. There's a teaspoon of black pepper. Take that teaspoon of black pepper and, uh, and sprinkle that in there. I mean, with all of it, but yeah. Yeah, yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah, you're doing fantastic. And we are going to also have a teaspoon of Atraf al Tib. That's the spice we've been using. That is the spice we have been using. For those of you who, did, who were not here in previous episodes, Atraf al Tib is basically the Middle Eastern version of Powder Forte. It's like a, it's And for those of you who weren't here for our, middle, our, our medieval episodes, Powder Forte is basically using a European version of Atraf al Tib. They're spice blends. It's a spice blend. It's basically a blend of spices that are common in the area. Um, I see that Hannah has joined us as well. Good to see you. Hello. But yes, they are spices that were common in the area. So they're meant to give it either a spicy, a savory, or a sweet taste. Depending on the particular So version. this one has a couple different things in it. I forget what the face is, but it's got rose petals and uh, pepper. Well, I can always go to the back of the book and find out what's in there. So I did... Uh, it is written it somewhere. Has, it's in the back here somewhere. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. I'm pretty sure there is cinnamon in there. Uh, let's yeah. see. Here's the version that I use. So yeah, there's spike nard. There's spike nard. Spike nard. There's, spike nard. there's nutmeg, mace, cardamom, cloves, rose petals, uh, long pepper, ginger, and yeah. So yeah, that's, uh, that's that is our is. that is our afra atrafalti. And we're going to mix that in with the onions. Anything else? No, nope, that's it. So we're going to let that be in there for a while until it browns. And that, uh, and then we're going to add some more stuff to it. Once it browns, then we're going to add more you stuff. You still have that little glove that goes on the thingy. It should be right down there. You see it? That thingy. We have a thingy. We have a mitten. We got a mitten, we a sort mitten. of. It, might, it doesn't fit on this one. Ah, oh, well, we're going to have to get another one for this one. Which means for now, for now, for now, you shall use this. Regular, old-fashioned. Um, yeah. Oh, Hannah Franco just uh, switched uh, switched colors on her. Went from blue to purple right there, yeah. and I don't know why. I don't know why either. I she don't know. Devices. Possibly, possibly. That is very possible. Oh, do you want to go berry picking with Hannah? Yes. We're gonna try to go berry picking with Hannah. We'll see. Maybe that'll be. Will that be a nice Independence Day jaunt? Yeah. All right. Let's we'll see if that works out. Hopefully. Uh, can, I, can I drink beer now? What? what? Can I drink beer? Yes. Except we're not drinking beer. So no. Oh, I'm just going to stand in front of the freezer for a while if that's okay. You can do that. Um, although it's going gonna, it's gonna to wear out the freezer sooner or later. Um, oh, but it feels so nice. By the way, did you know it got like up to 102 this week here in the city? Oh, was that the day that we went upstate? Yes. <laughs> That was the day yeah, we that were we were upstate. The, we were here for the last part. Although we were upstate, it was like 95 degrees. Yeah, it was about 97. I know, it was, um, it was hot. It was Good chances are, we, we, we have a beach that day. We have a custom here on Cooking with Foxy that every week we have a mystery brew. A mystery either beer or cider. This week we decided to go with cider. This is from Champlain Orchards. And this is the Foxborough Rosé. It comes from... The lovely state of Vermont, where we were this past weekend, yeah. right up near the Canada border. Indeed. Not that part of Canada, though. Yes, the other part of Canada, the wee wee part of Canada. Oh, that part of Canada, yes. yes. French Canada, well, yes. they speak so the French. Pardon me. Where, where are we pardoning to? Pardon me for just a second. Do you want to what? Just a second. Just a second of what? Yep. Okay, never mind. What? Never, never, never. It was a failed experiment, an what exercise in futility. What was the experiment? I'm confused. I wanted to kill a bug. Oh, fine. Very Why right. must you pry so? Why must you go so? I don't know. Here, let's get a drink thing. And by that, I mean thing. cup. Also known as a drink thing. Also known as a drink thing. There we go. Because uh, they, they, we should taste these out of, out of glass. So they also, I want to just point out that they made the barcode in the shape of Vermont. Well, I, I did show that to them earlier, though I did not point it out. I merely showed it. You should have. But now you have pointed it out. I have pointed so it So that's out. those who did not know what They're the state of Vermont looks of like. They do not know what Vermont looks like, now they know what Vermont looks like. 
We could make jam. That is a thought. Oh, and Gabriel can show us how to how to fish and gut and fillet the fish. Indeed, we can. Mm -hmm. uh, we might stop by that part of Canada on our way to Montana. We haven't. We 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 mentioned oh, wow. that at the last show, but we need to mention that again. Yes. So, so good to say all. that's official. That is supposed Literally. to be official enough that the guy who hired us said that we can tell people. Yes. And I, well, I'm just concerned because we haven't signed a contract for it. I'm sure he'll send us a contract. Yeah. I'm sure he'll send us a contract. But yeah, we, we're going to Montana. So we are going to, there's a new Renfair. Called the Montana Renaissance Fair. Called the Montana Renaissance, Fair. Called the Montana Renaissance Fair. In Montana. In, what was the name of the town? No, I don't remember. We have a Kalispell? What, what? Kalispell? Kalisco? Kalispell? Kalispell? I want to say that's the name of it. It's, it's something similar to that. It starts with a K. All right. The point is, for those of you out in Western Canada, I believe that is the closest that we will be getting to you this year. So we may stop by. Uh, we might not be able to stop by because we're going to be heading to Armistice immediately afterwards. Yeah. And, uh, and we're going to be coming from Maine. But so... that being said, if you would like to come and see us, then uh, that is a possibility. If you live out west. If you live out west, yes. then that is the closest we will be to you. And so therefore, if you wish to come this see us, that anyway. would be the, this year, that would be the Next place to do year, so. We might head back out to California. So, I'm sure there's fairs out near Seattle. There are, but they always conflict, unfortunately. Although Oregon, maybe. We'll so we might we might be going through. Our, apparently, the border's still closed. Border's still closed. Border's still closed. Yes. So Canada we'll still doesn't want us for some reason. I don't know. It might just be because I don't know. Let's trick. Slancha, let's see how this Foxborough Rose tastes. It is a cranberry cider, by the way. Oh, I like it. It's all right. I will be. Oh, you don't like it. Well, I'll be honest. I generally don't like cranberry. No. I will finish it because mother always said you finish what you have poured for yourself. Or is that what father said? Mother said you finish what you eat uh, when it comes to food. Father said you finish your drink. Son, you pour that thing. You're going to drink it. You can always give it to me. I don't care if you're only eight. I can. <laughs> no Foxy's therapy hour for. God, for the love of all that is holy, no more Foxy's therapy hour. Apparently they do have at least one in Washington, so says Kathy. There is in Washington. I just said that there was one in Washington State, but it always conflicts with the... It falls out during Penzik. Oh, okay, yeah. So. And this year it falls out during Armistice. Yes. It would, so. But either way. All right, so I believe that these onions are just about browned. What do you think? What do you think? Uh, well, it's hard to tell because of the spice that's making it. A little bit. But they are at least well soaked in the oil. And, uh, they're soft, and they're soft. They're soft. And I think they're in a good place. So let's go ahead and... There we are. Let's go ahead and add the rest of the stuff that goes into here. So what is the rest of the stuff that goes into here? Liquid stuff. Good. And that. Right. For that, I'm going to need this. So I can get my Skyrim on. Um... Right, and I'm also going to need whisk, whisk, where's whisk? Here's whisk, there's whisk. Take that whisk. And I want you to whisk this. No, why does taking you always do this? Because, well, well, all right, so that's not just the teeny, that is the teeny and water. So specifically, what is our, whatever, four tablespoons of tahini and a cup of water. So take four tablespoons of tahini and a cup of water and mix them together. Mix them good. And uh, don't mix them in such a way that they flip over the top, though. What? what how do you want me to whisk it? Okay, okay, kind, of, kind of like that. Like, yeah. You see where you kind of go up and down rather than around and around. You see, you go up and down. We Can you do it? Would you like to go up and down? Yes! Yeah, you're doing fantastic. I like it. Ow. There, okay, so we got that. We've also got this and this. This is vinegar. Now, the thing just says vinegar. It doesn't specifically say what kind of vinegar. And drinking to forget drinking is a perfect reason to drink. Why not? That makes sense. Uh, so, yeah, we got vinegar. The recipe doesn't say precisely what's precisely. 
precisely, or specifically, which kind of vinegar to use. So we went with white wine vinegar because it was open. So let's put that in there. Very good. And we've got our cleaner. Yep. We've got our cleaner and our water. Well, nicely mixed it. So let's put that in there. All right, and we got one more ingredient, and that is saffron. So we've got here some saffron threads right there, which is the the stamen of a of a flower. Which flower is it? Is it a hibiscus flower? Oh, definitely not. No, it's not that. It's here. What's the name of the flower? I don't know the name of the flower. Actually. It might just be the saffron flower, for it all might I know. Just be the saffron. But whatever. Take your saffron. You don't need many of them, just a pinch. Just a pinch. And just crush them up a bit. Crush them up in here into a powder. Because right now they're in they're in kind of thready form. And you know, more just... specifically, it's really just the fillings. What what? More specifically, it's really just the fillings. That is not the door. Quiet, you. It's really Why was just I talking the... to you? I'm alright. It's more specifically what? What is it specifically? You tell. Uh, what? What is it? What is it specifically? <laughs> all right, all right. I think we're good. Let's. It's a uh, filament and not really the stamen. It is a you filament see? and not the stamen. There's well, two parts to a stamen. All and right. To an anther, and this is missing the anther. Ah, which I see. Which means that it is not really a stamen. So it's an anthropomorphic stamen, or no? Never mind. <laughs> Different root. I was making a Greek joke. <laughs> I it's thought it was funny. It's not even the same root. I know. That's what makes it funny here, Brendan said. Oh my gosh, you're so funny. I don't. I can. I. They think I'm funny. Oh, that worked really nicely, by the way. I don't know if you can see from here, and I'm afraid to lift this up and bring it up to you, but uh, you just put those, put those, those few filaments in there, and it immediately goes and does its magic, and just the whole thing turns yellow. Little bit of saffron will go a long way. It's Actually, great it's, for... it's, it's turned yellow when I just put this water on it. Ah, uh, over there, you mean? Over and that here. was just the, re the refuse, the last little bits that stuck to the, the bottom. Yeah, that was just the small So bits. very good. So yeah, isn't that nice? Isn't that a lovely that is, color? Wow, that is a very isn't that a lovely, lovely gold, color. gold color? So the color that comes from saffron is very, very strong. Watch out, because it will stain your clothes. And, uh, and this, by the way, is part of how you know it's a medieval recipe, because medievalists like to use their saffron, especially if you were wealthy. And, and that is true for both uh, Middle Eastern and European cooking. Indeed. And part of, part of the reason why saffron is used so much by the wealthy but it's, it's, it's a wealthy is because... Dish, what, what? It's a wealthy person in general, yes. for sure. And part of what makes it such a wealthy person's thing is because, well, it's rare, and therefore expensive, and hard to produce, and therefore expensive. It's it has to come from Afghanistan, and therefore expensive. But also, it turns everything gold. Which makes you feel Which is, makes you feel all, all, uh, all rich and fancy and stuff. Yeah, is that, is, that is, yes, that is a rose okay. petal. It looked all decrepit and sad. So it's like, just black. It's just, it's, it's not even black. It's a dark, dark red. And so against, you see now it's against my finger. You can see that it's more like a purple. Okay. But yeah, it's a rose petal. It's supposed to be there. It's fine. It's good. <laughs> I'm just making sure. I know, I know. I know. There we are. So I'm going to let that sit there for a bit. Man. Sorry. Try to do that again without splashing all over everybody. And I'm going to raise the heat. Because basically it wants you at this point to bring it up to just a boil. Oh, okay. And then once it starts to bring it to a boil, then bring it right down. Take it off the heat. Ready for that? Yeah. So I'm ready for that. It's just a matter of waiting. And now we're at that point in the show. Where we're waiting for sauce to boil. Isn't this fun? Isn't this riveting? Isn't this the most fun riveting thing you've ever riveted? And I've riveted a few things. I've riveted armor once. Here comes the part where he stalls by talking about random things. I made, did you know that I made chain mail once? Yes. I made chain mail once. Did you know that my first set of chain mail was made with uh, with 12 gauge wire and and uh, half inch wide rings? I don't know if any of you know anything about chain mail armor, but that is not how you're supposed to make chain mail armor. A better gauge to use would be 
Well, you can tell them about an even more abysmal time you tried to make need. I think I've not, told them about that not, time. Not, 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 the show, the not on this show. Not like, this show. long, long ago. I think you might have told them about that time. Is there an approximate like... vinegar? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by approximate. Uh, three tablespoons of it. You mean, like, do they specify at all, like, what kind of vinegar? Oh, and here oh, it just says vinegar. Like just a, a similar wine, a similar vinegar to white wine vinegar. To white wine vinegar? Uh, I'd say um, apple cider vinegar would be similar enough to white wine uh, vinegar. And there it is. Turn off the heat. That, that might give it a weird taste. Um, you can really use any kind of vinegar. Red wine vinegar. Is Actually, I'm going to turn the heat back on because it was only boiling in that one spot. The spot where the flame was touching it, you know and what I mean? And they don't specify. And I so kind of want it, I'm pretty sure it should boil a bit more evenly than that. I wouldn't recommend using anything that's like a little bit, that's like a little bit too far-fetched as, as a vinegar. Like, I wouldn't use a balsamic, I wouldn't ah. use an apple cider. Uh, I would use just like You wouldn't anything. use an apple cider? No, I think that would affect the taste weirdly. You um, think so? I would stick to a wine white? vinegar or a um, just regular regular vinegar, regular red vinegar. Alright, it's doing that annoying thing where it, where it only boils where the fire is. So I'm just going to keep stirring it and let it come to boiling a few more it times. Let's do that with this not very good stove. <laughs> I know. We'll get a better stove at some point. That's I would like to thank everybody who was a patron. Because of you, we were able to buy this frying pan. And one day, because of you, we will be able to buy a stove. One day. One day. We'll have a, a new stove. Mm -hmm. It'll be grand. Mm -hmm. um, soda can pull tabs. That is one way to make chainmail. Um, it won't serve as armor, but it'll look good enough for Lark. Which is often... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen soda can uh, armor. Indeed. Larks and stuff. Sometimes that is just how you got to do it. it is so... Anyway, the point that I was making is that my first set of chainmail had rings about yay big. Wow, that is way too big for yes, chainmail. Yes, that is way too big, and the and the metal was way too thick, so it was also way too heavy. So, and then I made some chainmail out of you know with smaller rings, and and thinner thinner wire. I think that this is good for now. I just need somewhere to put it. So I need a bow. I'm gonna get a bow. That is a belly, not a bow. If I wanted a belly, I would grab my belly. Because I have a belly. I've got the biggest belly. A bounteous, beautiful, big belly. Do you like my bounteous, beautiful, big... Yeah. Why do you what? shake your head like I'm a child? Because I keep trying to say stuff and you keep going on. I'm sorry. Like once he starts getting on these things, you just can't stop him. You gotta wait till he stops and asks you if you like it. Where's the mitt? There's the <laughs> mitt. Alright, I'm gonna pour the sauce into the bowl. Got it? All right, I'm gonna pour the most of most of the sauce into the bowl. Into the bowl oh, it goes. You need the spirituler. All right, getting the spirituler. You want me to get the spirituler? I got it. I got it. I can, I can hold this. I can. I can, I can hold it. Lots. Okay. I can hold it. Okay. I can do this. All right. I can do this. All right. Now I'm going to leave what's left of the sauce in there since it's all going on the fish eventually anyway. Whew. But we're not gonna it fry. Sizzles. It but sizzles. sizzles because there's a bit of a drip off to the bottom of it. I don't care. Actually, I should care. I'm gonna get the paper towel and wipe that off like a smart person. All right. In the meantime, let's put this over here, and we've got our sauce. Yay. That is our sauce. And we can, uh, we're not gonna use all that sauce for the fish that we've got either. We're gonna have some sauce left over. Are you all right with that? Yeah. Yeah. So we can put that sauce on other stuff later, yeah. like more fish. Oh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm only kind of sort of a fan of tahini. Oh. You're only kind Luckily of so... Luckily for me, this re these recipes use, like, tahiti all of the time. <laughs> well, it is Middle Easter! Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's like... not sure what I expected. I mean, it's like getting an Italian book and going, I use basil all the time, I don't know what to do. Yeah, basil's good. Tahini's also good. <laughs> I think it's, it's good. It's like smearing peanut butter all over everything all of the time. You say that like it's a bad thing. It's not even peanut butter. Okay, all right. Sesame seed oil. Here's the rest of it. The rest of our sesame seed oil. Let's put the rest of our sesame seed oil in here. Put it all in there. Yeah, that's good. That should be enough. That should be enough. Deep a deep. A deep a deep. A deep a deep. I'm going to need a tray of some kind or bowl. Either one will work. Let me uh, put this over here for a sec. 
that, and let's get uh, let's do a plate. Plate works just for for now. There we go. Now we take this here, and we put this fish, fish. That's what we've got here. Fish, cod. We take our cod, which we have salted, and we're gonna put this over here for now, because now, now we're going to need other flour. All right. Now we're gonna do this. This is gonna be. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be fine. I'm ready. I'm ready. So wipe my fingers off for a moment because I need to turn the fire on. We've got our oil in here. We turn on the higher. The higher the fire, the, the, the fire the, the there. Fire. So we've got in here, and uh, still a little bit of the fish sauce, which is fine. That's fine. Let's just mix that in there. Just get it in there. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Just mix it all up. Mm -hmm. Put the lime in the coconut. And. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just, just rub it all over there. Just rub it all over. Just rub it all in. And yeah. And we've got our 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 tahini -ni saucy sesame seed oil right there. It's getting hot. I'll turn the heat down just a hair. I want to keep the heat going. There we go. Very good. So that's heating up. And now we've got a tray. We need to put something in that tray. Flour! That's what this is, which is directly off screen. It's this thing, our big honking thing, it's a fleur. Thing. And you can it's tell it's a fleur thing. because it's got fleur written across it. Who doesn't like that? All right, so we're going to put some of our fleur into here. I'm going to do that into there. There we go. That's enough for the fleur to do. That looks like enough. That should be enough. Here is what we're gonna do. Put it back on there. Put that over here. Take the fish. Put it in the fleur. And rub it in the fleur. And flip it over and put it the other side in the fleur. And kind of rip it around in the fleur a bit so more. Nice just get it all over the fleur. Get it's the fleur nice on the coat. Just get a nice coat of the fleur on the fishy. The fishy fleur all over the fleur. And I think that's about good. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. And now we put it in the oil. And we let that fry. We'll turn this around for a moment. Very good. And then we take our second one. Would you like to do that one? Yeah. yeah. All right. So just go ahead and dip it in the flour. Here, let me eat. It's like all on the sides now. Oh, it's all right. You can, you can shake the thing to put the flour more in the middle of the thing. Working. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Meh. Also flip it on the ends as well. Get the ends in there. And just keep flipping it around and mushing it in there and spreading it in there. Don't be afraid to use both hands. Just flip it around and just kind of rub it around on the bottom of it. Rub it around a bit. Just kind of swish it around like you're like you're wiping it like it's a sponge. Very good. You think that's enough? Yeah. I think that's good. Okay, let's so put that in there. Yeah. And now wash your hands. <laughs> Not on me. That's only fun once in a while. <laughs> it is true. If you think yourself funny, you will never cease to be entertained. Which is why I am so dangerous when I'm bored. Cracking up and stuff. That can be, I'm not going to save that flower. That's it. No. That can you be rinsed out. You could throw it in the trash. What? You could throw it in the trash. Oh, and it's down the drain. That because actually doesn't make sense. clog the drain. Yeah, they'll clog the <laughs> drain. So let's just put that in the trash right there because it has had fish on it. Indeed. So you don't want to just put it back in there. No. no. In the flower thing. There we go. Ah, let's get the water in there. And you know what? I'm gonna use those little uh those little wooden plates. Pass me one of them little wooden plates. I would like to use them little wooden plates. Yes. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Rinse them. Rinse them, yes, you rinse them. While I uh turn this thing around. And contemplate whether I'm ready to flip them or not. I believe the answer to that is no. No, I am not ready to flip these just yet. 
No, they've only been on there for like a little while. Yeah, only a little while. They, they, they need a bit more time than this. Especially since it is on low heat. Put it up on higher heat. I'm going to put it up on a higher heat. Not that high. Not that high, but higher than that. Higher than that. There we go. That's good. That's good. I'm also going to wipe off the edge of this thing because there's some more of this, just a bit more of the oil just kind of flipping over the, slipping over the top and over the side. This is going to go on the fire and it might go foosh. You don't want it to go foosh. No, don't want any grease fire. Don't want a grease fire. No. Not in my kitchen. No, we don't have a fire extinguisher. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I don't. I had a fire extinguisher once. Then I loaned it to the theater as a prop. And you never got it back? I never got it back. Why not? So I forgot about it. It happens. It happens. Theoretically, I could go down to the theater and pick it up. I'm pretty sure my key still works. I'm pretty sure it's gone by now. What? The fire extinguisher? Yes. You never know. You never you haven't worked there in like seven years. Yeah, I know, but still. It might be just where I left it. I was the only one who ever cleaned that prop room. <laughs> In that case, probably. But I would bet that since Yeshiva is getting rid of the theater department, it's probably gone. Mm, probably. So, so yes, Hannah is correct. 12 gauge would be heavy. And it was. It was inordinately heavy. So, uh, so I dismantled it and turned it into shoulder pads. You know, like pauldrons. Ah, okay. Yeah. Alright. So... I just changed it from a from a four in one weave to a six in one weave, and it worked. At any rate, let me flip this over. <laughs> that was a little bit squishy. Flip, 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 flip. I had an uncle who was tall, but had really short legs. A flippity flippy flop. A flippity flippy flop. Have we made that joke on this show before? Yes, I believe it was last time. And it was still he hasn't the dumb... stopped singing that song. That song has not left my brain. It has not left his brain in it's like two weeks. still there. Won't go away. That and Oingo Boingo. Yeah, that one. That one. That one is for some reason in my head stuck on a permanent loop. You ever get that? Where the song's just... And not this one either. This one's supposed to be on a permanent loop. That lonely island like, song, the boombox song. The boombox song? Yeah, me too. <laughs> know your limits with the boombox. Boom this was a cautionary tale. Boombox is not a toy. I'm going to drink more of this thing. You know, this has gotten better the more I've been drinking of it. I think, well, that is exactly what they said is going to happen, so yep. hooray! I, I mean, in my yeah. defense, I did want to get the maple one, but you didn't, because it didn't say Foxborough. I know! <laughs> this was your own decision. I actually like Mom the taste of Falls. It's a wrong dang fall. You know what I think, though? I think this could use to be colder. It could be colder. It so could be colder. For, for so I'm going to, for my second... Why nice in it? Why not? That ruins it! Why? It's no. not... This isn't beer we're talking about. It's cider. Now! Why? Now! Yes! Oh, you're ruining it. You don't ruin you're cider, but. It's perfectly good cider. It's a cider, not beer. You can put ice in cider. Not if you want to get drunk all of it. <laughs> well, you just have to drink twice as much. You're going to be, like, going to the bathroom all throughout Fox's drinking hour, and it's not going to be my fault. I have the bladder of a camel, thank you very much. I assume camels have large bladders. I really don't know for a fact. Well, I think their bladders are normal size. It's are they like now? It's just their humps that are, that are large. Well, also, the humps aren't full of water anyway. The humps are full of uh, fat. Fat? Yep. Wow. Fat. That's their, that's their beer belly. <laughs> Ooh, I think these are just about done. Give this one of the flippers. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let me flip that around. Doopa, doopa, doop. Whoop, whoop. Oh, yeah, it's starting to flake. That's good. That is a good thing. A flaky, flaky fish. Yes, indeed. If it's starting to flake, then that means you're just about done. Well, it, it does smell good. It does smell good. And I believe that we are just about done. So in a moment or so, we're going to put that onto the plate. And then put the sauce on it, and then we are going to uh, 
Give me a taste. Would you like to give it a taste? Yes. Would you really? Yeah. Good to know. I am looking forward to seeing your face when you taste it. And I think that's just about done. It sounds like it, smells like it, looks like it. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Uh, the plates are still a little wet, by the way, if you want to dry it, okay? Uh, I'll dry them a little bit from that. Here we go. Let's get, get a paper please. towel. Let's get a paper and towel. Smoosh it around. And then it. smoosh it around on your plate. Just smoosh it around. And you're going to make the sounds, too. Shoosh. The sounds help. Yeah. That's what Bob Ross always said. And I will assume that he is correct. All right. You should get a letter, please. What? Beat the devil out of I that place. I did beat the devil out of that place. Here, you take the thicky thicky one. All right. I'm assuming that you're, I mean, I don't know if you're... Just... Well, one of them is for us tasting right now, and the other one is for me making a picture of later. Oh, and okay. then us eating so later. Let's, let's so let's eat this one, since that is the less photogenic one. No. Poor thing. Poor thing. So then we put the tiki on it? Yes, indeed. -dee 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 -dee. All right, so if you look at each other there, there should be a spoon. Very good. Very good. So about that. And then we just drizzle it on there? Yes, indeed. Just drizzle it over the top. Drizzle it over the top. And you drizzle just as much or as little as you please. And I'm going to do it this way because it makes sense in my brain. Yeah, there it goes. And that did make sense. Actually, I prefer the other side as far as the look of it goes. Yeah, that side looks prettier. So we're going to use that side for our photo. Very good. I'm going to turn that back. He's already up. And I'm going to get a spoon over here and drizzle this sauce on the other one. And we have plenty of sauce left over for uh, yep. <laughs> for more of whatever we're later, drinking. honestly. For a drink, we're gonna just drink this sauce. <laughs> gonna drink, we're gonna put it on other things. We'll use other things for it. We might try frying. We've got, we've got those chicken breasts in the freezer. We do. Left well, over I, from last time. If we like the sauce, then perhaps. If we like the sauce, if you like the sauce. Well, this is your thing earlier. This is your thing. That's all right. If you like the sauce, then then we should be able to reuse that sauce in, in frankly, anything you want. We'll see how it tastes. Mm -hmm. All right, that being said, let's see how this tastes. Let's give this a try. So we take a bit of the fish. I'm gonna put a little bit more sauce on mine, if that's all right, Lee. That's fine, actually. Because I really wanna, I really wanna <laughs> get a taste of the sauce. Here, put, put like a smidgen on, on this piece that I've got right there. All right, let's put a smidgen on there. Very good. Well, that's definitely more than a smidgen. That was more than a smidgen. I'm sorry. That's all right. Here we go. Let's see how this came out. Mm. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. It is neat. It is fresh. Mm -hmm. It is fresh and vibrant. But it also has an earthy undertaste. I like that a lot. Yeah. And the onions definitely add a lot to it. And the onions do the saffron adds a lot. That saffron adds a lot of a lot of a lot of body to it. Here we go. The the, the 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 onions definitely add to its sort of bounciness mm -hmm. and freshness. So I really like that. That that came. Out. I want to use that sauce on other things. It'll definitely work good on fish. On other fish. Fish it works well. It might work well on chicken. It might work well on the chicken. I would suggest it on red on red meat. I would not on red meat. I wouldn't use this with beef. But I think this could work with chicken. Do you want to use it on the chicken? Do you want to pick up that fork? I'll pick it up. It's all right. It's near to me. Put it in there. Mm -hmm. Where it probably belongs. Thank you very much, good gentles all, for joining us on this episode of Cooking with Foxy. And this is our 50th episode. Our 50th episode. Two more weeks and we will be at a full year. Full, full year. year of having done this every week. Cooking a new recipe for you so that you can see it. And enjoy watching me struggle, because that is the epitome of entertainment, is watching Fossey struggle. At least that's what God tells me. To do. Anyways, so <laughs> before Sorry. we get into Fossey's therapy hour again, I would just like to point out that we are going to be at the Midsummer Fantasy Renaissance Fair. This Saturday? This Saturday. Uh, the tickets are sold out. Sold out. out. But if you want to show up anyway, then you've got a ticket. Then feel free to come see us. Indeed. And, uh, yeah. And join us tonight at 9 o'clock for yet another episode of Foxy's Drinking Hour. Definitely. Where we will be drinking mm -hmm. and singing songs. As we do. See you then. There, you hit the button. I'll hit the button. I will hit the button. I know there's a button here.
Bye now. Did I? No, I hit the edit button. I need an end stream button. That's the button. There you are. Bye now. Oh, you were.